<clears throat> we're going to do this here. This is about the Roma community, and uh, I already prepared the answer for uh, the parties involved in it. This was one of the subjects involving MK Ultra, a little bit with the Serb who tortured with the French inside of our house and incited in a hatred against the Roma people. And I just want to make sure his name is Jelko Jovanovic. This is employed, appears like at Euronews. And really, Euronews is located in France. In a little bit, I'm going to demonstrate you. Um, French basically giving one opportunity to spit on the Ukraine. Listen to this, in a post-war Ukraine. That's quite amazing. I mean, there's so many Ukrainian people that are getting killed. And I don't know about exactly what he is aiming with his French colleagues at. Um, it's evident from my answer. I'm not going to repeat what my answer is. I'm a little bit going to demonstrate you the answer. Um, the answer is right here, actually. This is the answer. You want to go and read over the answer? You can go ahead now and you can use the pause button. Uh, and or you can just um, wait for me to finish this uh, this whole thing. Yeah, if I if I click here to to get this translated to French, and basically it looks like this because this stuff is uh, they are located in France, right? So you can go and you can pause the button if you like. Or you can wait till I finish this video and you can read the text, get one translated to yourself, whatever it is that you like. Um, this is the answer, basically. Uh, not uh, quite happy about this stuff. They do. Somebody from Serbia uh, is bizarre. Uh, going after Ukraine and... Um, Truly, truly bizarre. Truly, truly bizarre. And even demonstrating here children on Kosovo. That's basically uh, what used to be part of the Serbia when Serbia occupied, colonized uh, part of the land in southern part of Serbia that belonged to Albanian people. And so um, the Serbs lost war against Albanians, they could not exterminate Albanians. They, they started the extermination agenda, the same like the Russians are doing today in Ukraine. They lost the war in Kosovo. Uh, Kosovo became free, and now they are comparing the Kosovo Roma community with Roma community in Ukraine. Uh, and appears like are extremely, extremely worried for the rights of the Roma people in Ukraine, uh, in in what will be a post-war, so this is this is really um, the article that's been used by the French to cover up uh, the situation of the France today, which is embarrassing when it comes to minorities. It's not as bad as it used to be during French colonialism, and you can see how big France was during the colonial colonial times. What what. Uh, what it occupied, which parts of the world. Uh, but the truth is that uh, Ukraine didn't have any kind of past like this. Serbia occupied Slovenia, Croatia, Bosnia, Kosovo, Macedonia. It was like a mini colonial power on the Balkans that also committed extermination and genocide on Balkans against several nations, Albanian, Bosnian, they tried with the Slovenian, they tried with, a, they did against Croatian in the Vukovar and certain parts of the Croatia. These are people that will go out there and preach us about what the world should look like in any way and use this type of issues with, to cover up basically their past. We shouldn't be. We shouldn't be getting lessened. We Ukrainians never. I'm not Ukrainian. I'm from Slovenia, and I was hijacked literally from Slovenia and from United States of America. Eventually, I became a citizen of the U.S. in 2000, naturalized citizen in 2000. 
for the purposes of torture, literally to the France, to the Germany, to the Britain, to Belgium, to Italy, to Spain, to Portugal, so they could see, be seen as just in the face of aggression they committed against humanity in the past. I don't recall that Slovenia would colonize anybody. Like I said, I'm Slovenian, native. Equaling what goes on today in, uh, in France, in Italy, in Germany, in Britain, with some kind of aroma issues in Ukraine, this is bizarre. In the post-World War times, why? Ukraine never occupied anybody. U Ukraine was a colony. Ukraine was a Hungarian colony. Ukraine was a, a Russian colony. Ukraine was a Polish colony. Polish-Lithuanian colony. What the fuck are you talking about here? Jews built their wealth in Eastern Europe based on a slavery trade with Ukrainians. Are you going to lesson us about the Roma community, how it shall be and what should be? Are you serious? This article was written by the Zerko Jovanovic. It's a Chetnik who was involved in MK Ultra, Full of hatred, tortured inside of this house, literally. Yeah. To counter the Putin uh, Nazi spiel. What the fuck are you talking about, Mr. A? The doors are open for the Roma community. They take recruits every day. You want to go to the military in Ukraine? The doors are open. They welcome you. Just don't come up to me with a story that after the war, after the war in Ukraine, There was who knows how many Ukrainian people killed and zero Roma people. Don't come up to me with this kind of statistic. Because I'm going to be looking for you too, for your community too. You are legible to enroll yourself in a Ukrainian military to defend your homeland. If you worry about the post-war situation the Roma community in Ukraine. You're not American natives. You're not protected or exempted from any laws in Ukraine about enlistment into Ukrainian military also. I don't know about any discrimination of the Roma people in Ukraine. I know about what goes on in Serbia. All you got to do is you got to Google his last name and you know exactly where he's coming from. It's not difficult to see. That's a very, very well-known last name, Jovanovic. We all know where that's coming from. You got some Jovanovic Chetniks right there. Look at it. Even females. They committed the Mount Everest of war crimes in Croatia, Bosnia, on Kosovo during the last war on Balkans. Not to mention they collaborated with the Adolf Hitler, with the Nazi Germany during the World War II.
seems like uh, these people are, uh, what is it? Um, they're like running out of... Uh, They forget about the history or, or what is it? I mean, they had to be fucking reminded. Like my internet here, they disconnect and I have to renew the connection by troubleshooting one so that it works. The one who does this are Chetniks, believe it or not. They control. Wi-Fi router and they, more than anything, they control Wi-Fi adapter on my laptop through which they are doing this kind of issues. No need to lesson us about what's going to be in Ukraine. Worry about what's going to be Ukraine after the uh, after the war. There is a big chunk of Ukraine that's missing. The Ukrainian nation is fighting for its survival. Russia used to be imperial, colonial state, just like France, just like Britain. Just like Germany, and that's why I'm asking myself, are you actually French where this is located? Are you actually uh, sincere about your intentions in Ukraine? Because this is a strange article, and it doesn't make me feel good about it. We're not the same. We don't share the same past. You share your past, and we share our past. We can share common past based on certain issues that we want to share with one another. But our paths are not the same. We're not the same people. You were the one who explained to me more than anybody possibly could. You used me for the stuff you never should have had. I'm going to send this to the legal department. They're located right here in Lyon, in France. That's the southern part of France. I was transferred throughout entire France, also to the Lyon. So they could torture, they could commit crimes against humanity. Use minorities, literally, including Roma people, to engage in crime against me. That's not for the love. That's not for the better. That's to present yourself as somebody who is just, somebody who cares against somebody who had nothing really to do with the colonialism, had nothing to do with the Nazism, somebody who even lived in the United States and in Slovenia that you had to hijack to deliver to France. Why don't you use your own French people or your own British people in Britain or your German people in Germany? What do you need to go to the U.S. to hijack and to Slovenia to hijack for these issues? Because you stink. Because you stink like a Russia is why. Because you needed to demonstrate there is existence of something, that something emerged. from the fall of the Soviet Union that actually doesn't exist, but you needed this to convince the rest of the world it actually exists and it's a threat to humanity. Nazism. So, you French, you Germans, you Britons, Americans have with Jews, with Israel, invented the new stage of the Nazism for your colonial purposes. And what emerged from the fall of the Soviet Union is what is needed for the Russia to recreate the Soviet Union. So it seems to me that you guys all work together very much with one another. Huh? Why, 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 what, what went on exactly? Why were you doing this kind of stuff? Why were you doing this kind of stuff?
I'm going to take a date and time here. This is nasty. 